Hello, this is James Ritchie Carroll with GPA, the Grid Protection Alliance. Here at GPA, we create open source software for the electric power industry. Some of our software deals with streaming data management like the Open Phaser Data Concentrator, which we call the Open PDC, and the Substation Secure Buffer Gateway, which helps manage secret phaser data in a substation environment. Other software we write helps with electric system analytics and visualizations, such as the OpenXDA and the Power Quality Dashboard. And finally, others help manage electronic data security, such as SciGate and Armor. All GPA products are built on a common set of open source code called the Grid Solutions Framework, or GSF. The Grid Solutions Framework is an extensive collection of .NET code that runs on both Windows and POSIX platforms. It's used by various power utilities and other open source projects. And in this video, I want to talk to you about how to set up and use the data gap recovery feature that's built into the OpenPDC version 2.1. The new substation SVG and the OpenPDC version 2.1 operate together to allow automated recovery of data outages that can occur due to network outages, system failovers, or system reboots. As you can see on this screen, there are two pieces to this puzzle. One is your normal PDC, your open PDC upstream connected to a historian. Secondly, you have a computer downstream that's actually intercepting data from your PMUs. Now what this data system does, is we call it the substation SBG, Secure Buffer Gateway System, is collect data from the PMUs and transition it on in real time to the open PDC, but in the meantime, it's archiving it locally. So that's the key. So upstream, you have the open PDC, which collects data in real time, synchronizes metadata to the substation. But if there's an outage, let's say the open PDC is being rebooted or failed over to the other machine, it'll take a note of when that happens. And when the real time data stream is restored, it'll then go back and try to recover the missing data. That's the idea. It's just automated data recovery. So you have a full fidelity archive of your critical system data. So that's, that's the goal. Okay, to my right, on top of the blue computer here, I have a laptop that's running the substation SPG. Again, just local software connected to a couple of PMUs um, locally, streaming data coming back to an open PDC. So below it is our SEL3355 that's running an open PDC version 2.1 and also running the Open Historian 2.0 as its primary archive. So I'm going to transition back to the computer and show you some of this activity. So on the screen you can see we have the Open PDC running and it's connected to the SBG. You see the two devices it's getting data from and the data gap recovery is already turned on. But let me show you how that works. So if you wanted to set up a subscription with data gap recovery you go set up a new internal subscription you'd fill in the properties and then you would check the box for automated data gap recovery and you have some options you can fill out but they're set to some reasonable values and it generally if you just wanted to automatically get data you just hit save so this one's already been set up so we have a connection to the remote system and that is a gateway exchange protocol kind of session is connected to two PMUs. Also on the screen you can see I have the Open Historian running. This is a phaser visualization tool and it's actually querying data from the historian. So the stream of data you're seeing right now is based on queries right from the disk. So I'm zoomed out a little bit so we can actually show you um, the data gap recovery feature sort of real time. Okay, so now I'm going to create uh, a network outage. So we have our substation SPG computer running two virtual PMUs and I'm going to unplug the device physically. We now have a real network outage. So if you go back to the computer screen, immediately you'll notice that the data is gone. It's missing from the historian, it's missing from the main screen, but no worries. It's still being archived locally on our substation SPG. So now I'm going to plug it back in. We've got a few seconds of an outage. Click it back on. Now if we'll watch on the screen, the first thing that's going to happen is that 
the OpenPDC in real time needs to go back and connect to the SPG. So now it's reconnecting. Connection was established. And just in a few seconds, you'll start seeing the real time data come back online. There we go. There's real time data that's been restored. So now the real time's restored. Now it knows how large of a gap there was to fill for the history. And it's going to have to go back and request it. There it goes. It's requesting the missing data from the SVG and filling in the gap. So simultaneously, while still getting real time data, it's going back and pulling back the histories to make sure that the archive data is full and it's at its full fidelity. Ta-da! It's all working. Okay, that's it. So in general, we want to make sure that you knew about this feature so that if you wanted to try it out inside your infrastructure, you can have a very high quality, uh, high fidelity archive. Thanks.